the 19th Sunday after Pentecost. Year A. From Psalm 106. So God would have destroyed them had not Moses, his chosen, stood before him in the breach. In the name of that God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week consider what it means to stand in the breach between a disobedient people and the wrath of God. In Exodus, God sees the people's idolatry and threatens to destroy them. All Moses has to do is stand aside and watch. But Moses, like Abraham before him and Job and Jesus after him, pleads with God, risking God's wrath, reminding God of his promises and the favor he has for his people. Paul urges us to rejoice instead of worrying, to let our requests be made known to God by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, even when what we request is mercy for our ever undeserving kindred. God seems to want us to stand before him in the breach, filling the gap with our own belief that the promises of God are true. I wonder whether that's what's happening in Jesus' parable. I keep wanting someone to tell the king to stop escalating the anger. He's not just punishing the murderers, but burning their entire city. He's not just exiling someone. He's exiling them for not being adequately dressed after being gathered off the street. Is he crazy? What did he expect would happen? I wonder whether Jesus wants us to say, wait, God's not supposed to be like that. The kingdom is not supposed to be like that. What ever happened to that whole slow to anger and of great kindness thing? Especially in this season of political tumult, when so many around us are hoping that their opponents on all sides will get what they believe that those opponents deserve, God calls us to intercede in prayer, and sometimes even in action, calling upon the peace of God even when, especially when, the healing way of God's peace passes all the understanding that we ourselves can muster. Our faith in the power of God's peace. Our faith in the power of God's mercy. Our faith in the power of God's love. This, my kindred, is the discipleship for which many are called. But few appear to be chosen. In the name of the God who has chosen us, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.